Hey everybody, you are tuned in to the wrap up. I'm L'Oreal Lucci. This week, Adidas selling Yeezys without Ye. The baby responds to critics saying he fell off. Dr. Miami trolls Drake for dissing Megan Thee Stallion, plus a bunch more. Let's get right to it. Dr. Miami is letting it be known he's riding with Megan the Stallion. After Drake and 21 Savage dropped her loss, the track Circle Local caught heat after Drake seemingly dissed Megan. Now some fans say Drizzy was just being clever with his words, but other people, like Dr. Miami, feel it was a direct diss. The celebrity surgeon trolled Drake on TikTok and fueled rumors that Drake had lipo done. In the video, Dr. Miami made a comedic skit, pretending Drake wanted some work done. Dr. Miami wrote in the text, when Drake asked me to do his second round of lipo, but I'm a hottie before I'm a surgeon. And then Dr. Miami shook his head no. The video has millions of hits. See the hilarious video right now on hot97.com. And let me know in the comments, y'all think Drake was dissing Meg? It's been almost two weeks since we lost takeoff. His homegoing service goes down on November 11th at the State Farm Arena, home of the Atlanta Falcons. Now it is open to the public, but tickets were reportedly sold out. Justin Bieber and Alicia Keys will perform. We continue to send love to takeoff's family, the entire Migos, the whole QC family, and of course his fans. Are y'all still gonna buy Yeezys or whatever they're gonna be called? Adidas announced the company plans on selling the Ye inspired shoe, but with a different name in 2023. Adidas reportedly told their shareholders that the company remains the sole owner of the core designs of the current Yeezys in circulation. They feel they have every right to keep selling them. It's not clear what the new name will be. As we reported a few weeks back, Adidas ended their partnership with Kanye over his anti-Semitic comments. Adidas said they expect to lose up to a half a billion dollars in revenue. Did the baby fall off? This week, social media dragged him after it was announced he was selling his concert tickets for buy one get one free. The baby responded to the jokes with a funny video where he starts it off laid on the floor. The cameraman asked him what's wrong. The baby replied, I was at the top, but then I fell off. Help me up. Then the baby wrote another message saying, quote, God is great. I ran the up from nothing and still stand firm on morals and principles. I'm blessed and filled with gratitude no matter what. The baby was a victim of cancel culture ever since he spread misinformation about HIV and AIDS last year during his Rolling Loud set. This year, he canceled a show due to low ticket sales and his album, Baby on Baby 2, only debuted at number 34 on the Billboard 200 charts. The baby says he's being blackballed. Let me know what y'all think in the comment section below. Snoop Dogg's personal blunt roller said Snoop smokes up to 100 blunts per day. Uncle Snoop refuted those claims and said, gonna smoke all that weed in one day. What am I, a machine? <laughs> I love Snoop. And he also shared some exciting news. He's finally getting his own biopic developed by Universal Pictures and Snoop's Death Row Pictures. Black Panther's co-writer Joe Robert Cole will write the film and Alan Hughes, who directed the 1993 classic Menace to Society, will direct it. No release date yet, but I'll keep y'all posted. Before we wrap up, I'm super excited. Coyle Ray cooked up a new ladies anthem using the sample of Grandmaster Flash and the Furious Five's 1982 classic, The Message. Now it's sounding like a banger. You could check it out right now on the brand new Hot 97 app wherever apps are downloaded. That's all we got for you today on the wrap up. I'm L'Oreal Lucci, now I gotta get back to work. Adios.